Hey everybody, in a recent Adrian's Digital Basement video, he troubleshooted this Atari 800XL computer, figured out that it had a bad Antic chip, and he also did a Chroma Luma video mod to it. The one thing he didn't take care of though was restoring the lower portion of the case. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it down in my video description below. Long story short, I'm going to see if I can get the bottom of this case looking as nice as the top of the case. So sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it. Here is another angle showing the side and the front of the case. You can see the top looks pretty good, but the bottom half of the case is a mustard yellow. Not very nice. In this video, I'm going to do my version of retro brighting to see if I can get that looking as close to the top as possible. I don't do the submersion method, and I don't do the brush on and wrap it in plastic wrap method. I have a special, what we like to call polybright method because I learned it from a friend of mine, Paul, many, many years ago. So Paul, if you're watching, thanks for that uh, how-to many, many years ago. And now I'm gonna share it with my viewers. Here it is. I use OxyClean Laundry & More Stain Remover, straight out of the bottle. So what I do is I take the piece apart, I will wash it with uh, soap and water. Typically I'll use Dawn dish soap, that's really good for breaking up grease and grime. Then I will take the piece or pieces outside in the sun, and that's a key to this. You gotta have a nice sunny day and a warm day, a minimum of 80 degrees Fahrenheit for this to work. You lay the piece outside, you spray the OxyClean all over it, you let it sit for about 15 minutes, and you keep adding it on about every 15, 20 minutes. So you wanna make sure the plastic stays wet and after about an hour or two, it should look really, really nice. And what makes it take an hour or two or sometimes shorter or longer is dependent on how much sun and heat there is. The more heat, the quicker it works. So now I'm gonna take this Atari apart, get it outside and spray it down and I'll show you this process as we go through it. All right, I've got the top of the case off of the Atari 800XL. You'll notice it is still missing the antic chip from when Adrian did his repair. He did not have a spare. I do have a antic chip now that's gonna go into this machine. And once it's finished being cleaned up and restored, it will be passed on to a viewer of the channel. Before I take the bottom portion of the case outside to start my polybright process, I thought I would show you the bottom of the board where Adrian did the Chroma Luma mod on his channel to this machine. Again, link in the description below. But he basically ran a wire from, I believe, pin five here, routed it along the ground plane, and then over to this pin here, added some Kapton tape. And now it will have Chroma Luma, so you can hook this up to a Commodore 1702, 1701 monitor, etc. All right, let's get outside and get this case cleaned up. All right, we're outside. Hopefully you can uh, hear me. A little windy got it down on some cardboard got my spray just start spraying it like so all around get it nice and wet and I'll be repeating this process every 15 or 20 minutes and then after that I got to rinse it off and then I will uh, let it air dry and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done here we are on the other side too show you that spraying the side and the back again you want to get it nice and wet all right we'll let that sit two hours later it's been a couple hours and i wanted to give you guys a progress update so i went ahead and rinsed off the bottom of the case let it air dry a little bit put the lid on it and here's the progress so far after only two hours if you go back to the previous clip, you can see the difference. There's a huge difference from what it was to what it is now. 
So I'm figuring a couple more hours, maybe two or three more hours, and this case is gonna be good to go. Then I can pass this off to friend of the channel, Cal, so he'll have an Atari 800XL in his collection. While the case is outside baking in the sun, I thought I would take a moment and install the missing Antic chip that was installed right here. And in researching the Antic chips, I found out that there's actually four variations. So those four variations are the C012296, that is an NTSC Antic. It's used in the Atari 400, 800, and 1200 XL computers. Then there is the C014887, which is PAL CCAM. That is used in the Atari 400 and 800 computers. Then we've got the C021697, which is what I installed here. It's NTSC. It's used in the Atari 600XL, 800XL, and XE model of computers. And then finally, there's the C021698 PAL CCAM Antic. It's used in Atari XL and XE model computers. All right, let's go outside, grab the case, and do the final reveal. Okay, before the final reveal, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. These are the folks that support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And now for the final reveal of the Atari 800 XL that was originally on Adrian's digital basement. He did the uh, repair troubleshooting, found out it had a bad antic chip. He did the Chroma Luma S video mod to it. And then he passed it on to me to uh, put in the Antic chip and to retrowrite the bottom so we could pass it off to a friend of the channel, Cal. So here it is in three, two, one, the reveal. Look at how nice that is. It's far from perfect, but if you remember what the bottom looked like before, it was like a mustard yellow, and now it is almost an exact match to the top of the case. Sure, down the road, Cal might want to take this and retrobrite the top and the bottom a little bit more, but for now, it's way better than it was. It's fully working. And now to pass it off to Cal, so he has an Atari 800XL in his computer collection. Thanks to Adrian for the opportunity to uh, finish up this computer. Thank you to my viewers for watching, liking, and subscribing. With that in mind, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.